morning, Tux. I put him up here. He followed me over here. I've now brought him back. Hi, Mart. You best go eat. You was looking in the door so pitiful. Good morning. Him and a bunch of the crows, they're all... No paper? Oh, there it is. Phew! Yeah, well, my hands get cold because I don't have any pockets in the sweatshirt. I don't believe you don't have a jacket on. Look. It's only 36 right yeah, now. Yeah, it's only 15 straight out here. Refreshing. It's not That's filled. That's why your kitty cats are like running around. <laughs> and the birds are chirping. Yeah, the birds are going nuts. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the birds, but they are going nuts this morning, including the local hawk. Hey guys, everybody's doing good. It's not super frigid cold yet. It's just annoyingly cold. Wow, well, Don did just get a cup of coffee. Yeah, a cup. A cup. But you get to read the paper and watch YouTubes and drink more coffee while I go to the chiropractor. Trust me, I won't move an inch. From the time you drop me off on the, on the recliner till the time you get back, I, won't, I will not have departed the recliner. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know, windier than we'd like out here this morning. It's not too bad. I've still got that morning I'm super hot from yeah, sleeping. Hot. Will you stop it? Well, I always tell him I'm quite warm first thing in the morning after sleeping in the bed with the we have a heated mattress cover not a blanket pad, pad. well it fits over the mattress it acts like a mattress cover <laughs> it's a sunbeam something or other we highly recommend it it's got controls for either side so you don't have to be well, at got, the same settings got three zones for each side and three zones per it side your feet warm which is what i like right and then uh, not my upper half right well most of the winter i just have him preheat it and turn it off but i believe last night it was on the whole night, on the whole night. <laughs> me and the little black cat we was just snuggled up over there she didn't move a muscle either <laughs> uh -oh, it kind of stopped there's all these leaves blowing across in front of us Don says, where's all the kids? Uh, smarter than we are and inside where it's warm eating their oatmeal. Pop-tarts, Fruit Loops, chocolate milk. That's what they're doing. That is our leaf sucker upper for the town. Go baby, go. Oh, he's put it down. He's going to suck them up. He is. He's, it's waving back and forth. You can't see it too good from this side, but... <laughs> he's going around the outside now I bet after he comes along here all of this will be cleared up it does do a pretty good job he can't help it if the winds blowing the leaves away from the chute though it was like the movement of the vehicle and the wind almost defeats some of the sucker upper power <laughs> so he did come around over here and he sucked up the leaves on the inside curve and then he went over by the basketball court and sucked up some stuff and he left. But he didn't come back and go the other direction and get the stuff around the inner. He needed to make one more pass. It's a good thing I don't have him on speed dial, Donnie. <laughs> Don says we're gonna assume the guy's tank for leaves was full and yeah, he had to go, he had to go dump out before he could pick up any more that we're going to assume that well hopefully him or the street cleaner guy or one of them will come down the trail and get the leaves off the trail again because there's a time or two i put my foot down and it slipped you know it kind of slid with the leaves and yeah, they, get, they do get a little slick i would prefer if he would if they would come doesn't have to be perfect but you know clear spots all the way on the trail would be good what do you do when you collect the bag at the park that's blowing around and people they drop the dollar general bags all the time you use it to pick up trash on the way out of the park let me grab this bottle as expensive as that alcohol is a lot of those cans were half full well you know there's only so much you can drink and drive with jeez oh, i'm 
here at the chiropractor. Noticeably less cars in the parking lot today. My knee is pulsed, um, so that's good. I uh, got a little bit of sad news while I was in there though. Michelle and family, due to the weather, is now leaving for Pennsylvania a day early and we were going to see them tomorrow and now that's not going to work. So that's a bit of a bummer. But we will get together, just not tomorrow. I'm headed home. Um, I had thought about going over to Guardian Angel Apex, but Johnny and I have an appointment in town this afternoon, and I don't think I'm going to do that now. Um, it would push me just a little bit tight on getting home, and also with all the people out there with flu, I don't want flu. Hey, Donnie. Hey, you're home. I am, but it's a madhouse out there. I made the mistake of not getting back on the turnpike to come through to the other side of Holly Springs Apex. I was just here in my blanket. Yeah, I know. You didn't move a muscle except for maybe to use the restroom. But people are not only trying to get all of their holiday activities oh, yeah. done, it's they're nice. also trying to do everything they need to do before the cold air hits. Yeah. And so it's like a double madhouse out there. It would be hard for it to be any more intensive yeah, than it tomorrow's is. Tomorrow's supposed to be wet, so it's, that's nasty too, even though it's not going to be cold. But then Friday's going to be really yucky. Yep. We're in Ruby and we're listening to some appropriate Christmas music on the way to see the lights on Holtz Road. Johnny's in the back and Don's driving. We had a marathon uh, St. Louis pork ribs dinner. They were good. Yeah. They were good. <laughs> they were all hungry. We slammed, slammed them down. We uh, want to let you know that we're supporting the Lights on Holtz Road's um, mission this winter, which is to help uh, raise funds to fly people out of Ukraine. Yeah. He, uh, MG has been working really hard for months uh, getting people to donate their uh, American Airlines miles, their business trip miles and use those miles to coordinate uh, between American Airlines and people in Ukraine to fly out families that have the right paperwork to enter the United States. And sometimes I have to go through other countries in Europe and um, it's a very uh, in involved process to try to get the paperwork and the flights lined up and get them to safety. And there have been quite a few families that he has helped to get out. Um, he has a Facebook page, Lights on Holtz Road, H-O-L-T-S. I'll put the link in the video description. And he's got a GoFundMe set up, so where they fall short on donations of miles, they're um, also you know, looking for monetary um, gifts to help people too. So, But there's lots of pictures of happy families that have been brought over. It also involves sometimes having sponsor families in the United States that are willing to take in the families once they get to the U.S. Uh, one of the most recent families did come through North Carolina but went on to Sacramento. I guess that's wherever you can get a sponsor family or wherever you already have existing family that's willing to help you uh, satisfy the legal requirements of coming in. So, But everyone that they can get out uh, into into safety, I think, is a good thing. So, um, support them if you can. We're almost there. I'm so excited. This house is nothing short of magnificent, and every year they add more than the year before. We know so, where going. there we go. It's okay, you're far enough back now. Wow, look at it, Johnny. Oh, I see what he did here. It's covered with black plastic so the light doesn't escape up to the sky. It's We're here at our friend Joe's house. He's got his tree going all decked out. You guys should remember this tree from prior years if you've been watching. He has a lot of different programmed songs and settings. Of course, I couldn't play the copyright music even if we could hear it right now. 
Well, Don had to pull me and Johnny away from yeah. Joe's house between Lily the dog and the three uh, vintage pinball machines. We could have just moved in with Joe. Yeah. <laughs> well, we are now at Roger's Family Christmas, which is just down the road from Joe's house. Joe and this gentleman are friends, you know, families that uh, have um, programmed to music lights. They all stick together. Well, and help each club. other. Yeah, there's, there's a, a club and everything. Club. Yeah. And he added the Santa on the side of the house this year and several things on the side of the house because frankly sometimes when it's so busy you um you can't get close to see it. I would say tonight it's not very busy. In all comparison, there's only about six cars here. We've been here where it was like almost too crowded to even stop but his his house is amazing yeah he had a destination is on the right he had a child with SMA I can't remember what the met the real name for that is but he collects money to help find a cure for SMA a lot of these people are passionate for a reason Don's driving us down Main Street Apex, and I have to say they've done a really nice job with the Christmas lights. There's some overhead stuff going on, and, uh, and this was really pretty. It was. I was impressed, very much so. We are in Holly Springs now. It's Cary, Apex, Holly Springs, Fuquay and your Lillington, the kind of north to south, that's the cities. All the names you'll remember, but not, you know, maybe in reference to Fuquay, exactly where they are. Uh, well, Holly Springs is not going to win a decorated award. <laughs> the storefronts are decorated and there are some lights, but... Fuquay beats Holly Springs. <laughs> I guess it's a toss-up about Apex. Apex looked pretty darn good. At night, Apex looked really spectacular. Well, the actual night. Main Street did, but, you know, then Fuquay has Mineral Springs Park, and the Main Street yeah, with the true. lights on the poles extends for miles, basically, up the new part and the old part of Main Street. So, I don't know. That was downtown Holly Springs. That was a little disappointing, I have to say. <laughs> 